Hi, hello again. How are is everybody doing out there? Welcome to 2010 or 2010, I think we're going to start calling it. Today is going to talk about contextually relevant experience and what it matters to picking a consultant or coach or lead appraiser, whether you're doing CMMI or Agile or whatever you want to do to help improve how your products come together and your services are delivered. The contextually relevant experience is something that a lot of organizations overlook, not on purpose, partly because they don't realize that there's actually a difference and it matters. I've had far too many people talk to me. Unfortunately, a lot of those people are even lead appraisers and consultants ask, why does contextually relevant experience matter? Why do I actually need to know how the organization is working and why they work that way in order to help them with CMMI, for example. Well, the reason is for every other profession, when you have specializations, we understand we want to go to the specialist. Asking the question about why do we need relevant experience tells the person, tells about the person that they don't understand CMMI or they've been misinformed especially about the appraisal and about how the fact that it's not black and white, it's that every color of the color rainbow and the color spectrum is in possibility for CMMI and for how it's going to apply to an organization. Borrowing from last week's doctor analogy, I guess it's been two weeks now, there are specializations in doctors, there are specializations in law, at least in the U.S. there are, and you want to go to the right company or the right person, <clears throat> excuse me, and it's not going to be the same result. People are not going to give you the same advice if they don't understand uh, your specialization versus if they do understand your specialization. And, of course, this is true for CMMI. You want someone who understands agile or a small organization or embedded software, distributed workforce, systems engineering, systems of systems, platform-based development like CRM. Whatever makes you special, and that's what is important, It's how, because what makes you special is going to determine how you implement CMMI, the evidence that you come up with, and how the appraisal is going to be conducted. So the artifacts and all of the ways in which your organization operates, how the mechanics of that are supposed to look different from one organization to another. They're not supposed to be identical. If you find typical work products as they are listed in the CMMI model. Those are just typical of certain types of organizations. Those are not expected. Those are not required. Those are not even common in certain types of organizations. So it's supposed to be unique to your organization, as unique as your organization is itself. You don't want to have happen to your company what happened to a client of mine, where they got a consultant and a lead appraiser, not knowing that it matters that uh, they don't understand their context. They thought that it's just another standard. They can just come in and tell us whether we're doing it. Well, that company didn't understand how they did work. It didn't understand the technology. It didn't understand the way their systems engineering life cycle worked. And they gave them bad advice. They told them what they were doing was wrong. Well, it turns out what they were doing was spectacular because of in the context of their work, it was exactly what they needed to be doing, and it worked beautifully. They've been doing it for 25, 30 years. Why should some lead appraiser come in and tell them you're doing it wrong when clearly it's working? So it turns out that once we got there, they found us eventually. We told them, you know, what you've got is great. These are a couple of lapses here and there in these other areas, but for the most part, it took them very little change and very little effort to actually get to maturity level two and soon maturity level three. But I'd actually like to close with a warning. For the time being, the SEI cannot play a role in ensuring that consultants and lead appraisers and instructors are specifically qualified to work in your context. They do not differentiate between people with experience in Agile or embedded systems, or embedded software, or large defense, or distributed, or highly secure operating systems. They cannot play that role right now. That's your job. So if you need to understand what you do and how you do it and why that matters, you need to learn how to become an educated consumer. 
We've got lots of ideas on that. So if you're interested in understanding that better, get in touch. Until next time, good luck.